Well, uh, if like always, we'll have you start off with a statement and then we can uh, take questions. Yeah, I, I thought our team played really hard. Um, you know, the message after the game was uh, when you get to this point in postseason, you know, when you're playing in high level postseason play, um, you've got to play well because everybody you're going against um, is a really high level team. So I thought we played really hard. Um, but I, I do think that we um, can play better and um, as, as, a, as a group, you know, especially offensively, you know, you've got to, you've got to do a better job executing and finishing. Uh, but credit to Creighton. I mean, they're, they're a really good team and um, we're, you know, I'm excited because we get an opportunity to play some more basketball tomorrow. Yeah, Coach, is it those scoring droughts? You had two lengthy ones and that's just, when you're in tournament play, like you said, quality opponents, you can't have those lengthy scoring droughts. Absolutely. And I actually thought, and I'll see more when I review the film, I actually thought we got good shots um, a number of times, not every time, but enough. And, um, you know, you got to you gotta make some of them because we, we defended well enough midway through the third. The beginning of the third, we didn't. We gave up three early threes, middle of the third through that middle of the fourth, we defended well enough to give ourselves a chance, but uh, we didn't score the ball well enough. You got into some foul trouble too. Um, did that, you know, play a, a factor? Um, you know, you didn't, you know, you had some kids on the bench that you'd rather have out on the floor. I don't remember it playing as big of a factor in the middle of the game. I and mean, we had some kids foul out at the end. Um, but I don't remember it being, it didn't impact our rotation a whole lot. Katie Hempling, big game for you. We've seen her do this throughout the year where she can do so many different things on the floor. And I think today was just one of those examples of almost a classic Hempling game where she's scoring, she's rebounding, she's doing all those little things for you. I thought she was really good. Um, I mean, she created, she fit, she scored, you know, I thought she found a good way of scoring in different ways. Um, she rebounded the ball. Uh, yeah. I thought, she, you know, we, we asked her to do a lot and um, I thought she, she did a lot. Um, and she, you know, even when we weren't playing well, we were never out of the game. We always kept the game right in grips way. Um, and she had a lot to do with that. You guys are a relatively young team. What does it, this, this experience of playing uh, in a game like this in the NIT in a postseason tournament, uh, what, what is this game, what is playing in a game like this going to do for you guys going forward? Well, I, I always say you can't teach experience. You know, I don't care what grade you're in. Um, you can't teach the experience. And every single player on our team, whether they're a freshman or a fifth-year senior, has not played in postseason play. Um, has not been in, you know, the NCAA or the NIT tournament. So it, it's a great experience. Um, and I think it's, you know, uh, a good eye opener for the, the only teams left playing in the NCAA tournament or the NIT are had really good seasons. And um, it's a good kind of evaluation of, okay, this is, this is another level, you know, and you get to see it and you get to see what it takes to play like that. Obviously, you have a quick turnaround, you know, any thoughts on date and how do you prepare in such a short time frame? Um, you know, you hang your head on defense. I guess that's uh, where you start. Uh, yeah, we'll have to, you know, get ourselves ready, get a game plan ready. But this time of the year, and you'll see this can pretty consistently across the board, the, the teams that are still playing and then sort of Blair, the NIT tournament are good at what they do. You know, they they are they have a system. And they're good at it. And, you know, most people stick with that. You know, we'll have to get ready. We'll have to, um, you know, make some adjustments. But for the most part, this time of year, people do what they do. Any other uh, final questions for Coach? All right. Coach, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate Coach. you guys being here. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys.